And today we will talk about this book called Toto Chan, The Little Girl at the Window by Tetsuko Kurenge. Tetsuko Kurenge is a very famous television personality in Japan and, and is an ambassador for UNICEF Goodwill. This book was so, so, so popular. It hit 4.5 million marks in the first year it was published. And marks are the number of books published, number of copies published. So this book is about how Toto-chan managed to cope with the war, how she avoided depression in the war, how she how she attended her school. It's about her relationship with the headmaster, her friends, how did she, how, what was her life, how did she do at school, and most importantly, She got the gift of form, staying form, avoiding the sad bits and letting the sad bits go, not bothering about thinking them again and again, and how she resisted bad emotions and. Anyway, I wanted to tell you, this book has lots of emotions in it, like happiness, sadness and funniness. In, in this book, sadness is not common, funniness is co common, but happiness is more than common, it's ultra common. She was happy when she learned she had a new school. She loved the school because her teachers let her do what she wanted to do. The book is about how she coped with the depression of World War II. How she avoided the depression. How she resisted the depression. And most importantly, how she stayed with in her school how she loved the school her relationship with the headmaster now a relationship with the headmaster might seem a bit unlikely but in this school the headmaster was very different from the headmasters we have today this headmaster allowed them to do what they wanted to do they unleash, he allowed them what to do, what they wanted to do. They, they didn't tell now, uh, after this, you do this. After this, you did this. Like some of uh, this words, uh, headmasters do. He was a very friendly headmaster. And do you know, this book is a true story. Uh, and the sub most surprising bit is Toto Chan is just a name for Tetsuko Kurenki herself. This book is about how, how Tetsuko Kurenki was excited to have a new school and the school is real. She says this herself in this book. This school was real and it burned out in 19xx. So, in some parts, I, wa I was looking forward to more happy parts. In some parts, I was very sad. I just burst out crying. I was very sad, very sad. It took about 1000 plus comforting sessions to comfort me. My mom had a very hard time. Very hard time. But I am some 
sometimes difficult, but we are not going to talk about myself. So, in some parts, I just laughed like crazy, like mad. This book is a very funny one, as I said before. And her school is not like one that we have today. <laughs> Got you in there, did I? So this book, unlike today's schools, was made not made up of cement, not made up of any anti-natural chemicals. In fact, it was made from a train. Train. Can you imagine that? Just chugging around in a train while learning our lessons. Chugging, 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 chugging all around Tokyo in, in learning lessons. That would be so cool. Like, I wish this was real so I could chug around every day. Have picnics, go camping, go this, go that. It was so, it was, it would be so thrilling. I would be like thrilled. I would be so thrilled that I wish today's schools were like that. Maybe when I grow up I'll do that. But we are not going to talk about me as I said. So this book, to sum up what I said, this book, I'm sure is going to be a bestseller, bestseller in the whole world. I'm sure of it. This is how 